When it hit the big screen, the cult classic Coyote Ugly was hammered by critics who dubbed the film sexist, shallow, and silly. However, some audiences found the movie not only bearable, but genuinely enjoyable. Over the years, the movie has built up a strong following, but can the same be said for the cast? Here's what the stars of Coyote Ugly look like today. Piper Perabo When Piper Perabo got the lead role in Coyote Ugly, she was new to the industry and found that she related to her character instantly. She told the BBC, When I first read the script, it hit me like a ton of bricks. A year earlier, I had moved from New Jersey. The same train she takes back and forth from her house is the train I take back and forth from my house. I worked in a bar when I got to New York. It's really autobiographical. She's since appeared in Family Fodder like 2003's Cheaper by the Dozen and its 2005 sequel. But she's also dabbled in thinking man sci-fi like The Prestige and Looper. Her best-known work outside of Coyote Ugly is on the small screen, however, as she starred in TV's Covert Affairs for five seasons. Adam Garcia Australian actor Adam Garcia only had one previous film appearance under his belt when he was offered a part in Coyote Ugly, and it's the screen role he's still best known for even now. He told Junkie.com, I had no idea in the moment what it would become. None at all. Even at the box office, I don't even think we were number one. Critically, it was meh, but people just seemed to really like it, which is great. Garcia has since split his time between stage, film, and television. In 2013, he was nominated for an Olivier Award for a supporting role in the London revival of Kiss Me Kate, and he's popped up in TV shows such as Doctor Who and Flight of the Concords. However, his career as a movie star never really took off, with his most noteworthy subsequent appearance being a part in 2001's Riding in Cars with Boys. Maria Bello after making a name for herself as Dr. Anna Delamico on NBC's hit medical drama ER, Maria Bello transitioned into the film world with a supporting role in the indie drama Permanent Midnight, followed by a starring role in Payback. In her third outing, Coyote Ugly, she played the founder of the titular bar, who managed to turn her honky-tonk saloon in New York City's East Village into an international chain on the back of the film. Bello has since starred in a number of movies in the years that followed, with varying results. She took over for Rachel Weisz in the ill-advised Mummy sequel, Tomb of the Dragon Emperor, and put herself in questionable company for the lowbrow comedy Grown Ups. However, she's still got a few critical wins under her belt thanks to films like A History of Violence and Prisoners. Isabella Miko Polish beauty Isabella Miko turned to acting when an injury ended her dreams of becoming a professional dancer. Okay, boys, show me those balls. Acting filled the dancing void when she was cast in Coyote Ugly when she was still a teen. Her most high-profile appearance in the year since came in 2010 when she played Athena in the Clash of the Titans reboot, but she spent most of her time combining her dance talents with her acting. She's busted moves in Save the Last Dance 2, Make Your Move, and Step Up, All In. Tyra Banks Unlike the other Coyote Ugly Girls, Tyra Banks was already a superstar when she was cast in the part of crowd-surfing barmaid Zoe. Her fame was later given a huge boost by America's Next Top Model, the reality show she conceived and hosted for a whopping 22 seasons until it was cancelled in 2015. She followed up Coyote Ugly with a role in tired 2002 slasher flick, Halloween Resurrection. Though the majority of her appearances in both film and TV have been cameos as herself, Banks has managed to keep her fame flame alive in other ways. She became a New York Times bestselling author in 2011 when her semi-autobiographical novel, Model Land, became a big hit. Bridget Moynihan Like Tyra Banks, Bridget Moynihan had a background in modeling when she was cast in Coyote Ugly, though she wouldn't go on to enjoy anywhere near the same levels of success afterwards. The actress was under the glare of public eye in the mid-2000s when she dated NFL quarterback Tom Brady, but when the couple split, the actress began to fade from the spotlight. While Coyote Ugly was her first feature film, Moynihan actually made her screen debut a few years earlier when she appeared as the other woman Natasha on Sex and the City, a character who was only supposed to appear in a single episode as Mr. Big's wife, until producers decided they wanted to see more of her. Today, Moynihan is still best known for her work in TV, starring in the hit procedural Blue Bloods. Melanie Linsky New Zealand-born character actress Melanie Linsky got her big break in 1994 when she starred in the critically acclaimed psychological drama Heavenly Creatures. But while her co-star Kate Winslet was able to ride the success of that movie all the way to Tinseltown, Linsky had to climb the ladder the hard way. She starred as the trusty sidekick character in Coyote Ugly, but decades later, Linsky is on something of a hot streak with 2016's The Intervention and 2017's I Don't Feel at Home in This World Anymore, both finding critical acclaim. She also managed to carve out a successful career in TV, portraying Rose on the hit CBS sitcom Two and a Half Men for over a decade. John Goodman 
It was the Coen brothers who first saw Roseanne star John Goodman as more than a funny man, and through the sibling directors, he was able to showcase his versatile talents. He managed to straddle the fence between family-friendly flicks and edgier projects, so the fact that he played Piper Parabo's reluctantly supportive dad in Coyote Ugly is but a footnote to his filmography, and Goodman shows no signs of slowing down, with multiple projects on hand, including an eight-episode revival of Roseanne. Leanne Rhymes Country singer turned pop star Leanne Rhymes made a brief but memorable cameo appearance in Coyote Ugly when she performed at said bar in the final scene of the film, though her biggest contribution undoubtedly came in the form of music. Rhymes had four songs on the film's popular soundtrack, most notably the single Can't Fight the Moonlight, which became the unofficial Coyote Ugly anthem and propelled the singer to new levels of fame. Over time, though, Rhymes became a tabloid fixture thanks to her personal affairs, becoming more known for her reality TV ties than her musical or movie moments. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.